So fundamentally, the friend zone is a bit of a relationship purgatory where, although it's not exactly gender exclusive, it's more often than not when a guy's sexual interest in a girl is met with only platonic friendship. And realistically, it's totally fine for a girl to like a guy's personality, but not really be interested in a relationship. The trouble usually comes from the fact that a lot of the time, guys don't even realize they've been friend zoned. And this can happen for a lot of reasons, but sometimes, even though a girl might not be interested, a guy can misinterpret the signal she's giving off and get too attached. So if you're a girl, try to avoid being in the same room, looking in our general direction, or winking both eyes at the same time. And sometimes, if a guy really doesn't get it, you might have to clearly tell him that you're only friends, or he's probably going to end up with hurt feelings at one point or another. Like I was recently at Starbucks, and there was a really cute girl taking my order, so we chatted for a second, and she asked for my name to write on the cup, and when I got my drink, I saw that my name had two hearts around it. And that was honestly one of the best feelings of my life. And I was about to say something when I saw that she also drew a couple of hearts for a guy named Aaron right behind me. Fucking slut. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering if you're in the friend zone right now. And it usually progresses in stages, so you can see which one you might fall into. The first stage is denial, which is believing you aren't in the friend zone. The second stage is anger, which is coming to the realization that maybe you are. The third stage is bargaining, which is begging to take her on a date even though she's always showing you pictures of other guys. The fourth stage is depression, which is realizing she was showing you those pictures because she thought you were gay. And finally, the fifth stage is acceptance, which is realizing that one of them's pretty cute and what do you have to lose? Now, the most important question of all is can you get out of the friend zone? And interestingly, not too long ago, I was reading that a few psychologists at Penn State actually compiled a practical guide for men to get out of the friend zone. It looks like this. Of course, the first thing is identifying you're actually in the friend zone, then you execute the following steps. Step one, be more attractive. It's worth mentioning while this guide is certainly effective, it can be kind of difficult to implement and at least takes a bit of time. So one last piece of advice I was given a while ago was if you're ever in doubt, ask the girl out. The logic being that she either says yes and that's great, or she says no and you have your answer. But I've realized that this saying greatly underestimates my power for debilitating retrospection, which is why next time we're talking about how to get out of the friend zone, into the friend with benefits zone, where nothing goes wrong and no one gets too attached.